Adept, good to see you. I have great news for you, Adept. The last has finished final analysis of the tomes. We're ready to get my island back. She's preparing a ritual space at the Evermore Guild Hall in Bangkorai. I'll see you there, Adept. We're so close. Of course. This is what we've worked for all this time. Putting up with the mocking and insults. Shea Gorath's poor attempts at humor. We'll recover the Isle, and the Guild will have a safe haven from the war. Poor Princess Lakana. Thank you for trying to save her. Shalador must have found you. Very glad to see you again. I've translated the final book and we're ready to monkey rum butter. No, I'm... I'm just very tired. Thanks to Shalador, we were able to decipher the deeper ritual hidden within the tomes as a set. He's ready and waiting. Together you'll perform the ritual that will... <laughs> perform like a dancing midget. Just focus on the task at hand. I've prepared the ritual space, as you can see. Here are the books. Take them and place them on the pillars of light around the hall. They'll focus the power of the books for the Archmage. I'll be able to rest soon enough, Adept. Shalador is the only reason I was able to finish. His enthusiasm and energy sustained me through this difficult trial. Please, Adept, I'm going to be fine. As I said, translation of the books has taken a considerable toll. I'm exhausted, but it will be worth it. The Sanctuary will save so many lives and give us all a chance to work in peace. and swell of magicka. How I missed this. We've done it. We're finally ready to take back my island. I'll use the combined powers of the books and wrench the isle back to Tamriel. Sheogorath has lost, Adept. We're almost there. It's a lush place. Gorgeous and vibrant. We have guild members poised across Tamriel, ready to join us there. It will be the perfect place for the guild to study in peace. It will be glorious.
I... I know. She's very tired, even worse than before. But she's done masterful work in translating these books. And I'm sure she'll be an asset once we reach the island. She'll have plenty of time to rest soon enough. I suppose she has been garbling her words a bit. I just assumed that it was due to mortal frailty. I sometimes forget how fragile you are. We will watch over her together, my friend. I believe so. I'm sure you're as sick of the Mad God's games as I am. Now come, I will perform the ritual and open a portal to our new home. Holmes, attend me! Now, I reclaim what was taken from me. I, Vea, hear my call! Something is wrong. I sense. Adept. The lost. Follow me! Damn me for a fool! Why did I trust that madman? What do I mean? Look at this place! The island is overrun with Daedra. Sheogorath has given us the apple, but it's riddled with worms! There's a grand hall in the center of the island. We'll be able to survey the situation better from that vantage point. You and Velast make your way up this path. I'll meet you there. us. Why did he leave us? Let's go. Let's go. Can't keep the Archmage waiting. Mad God, leave this place! Careful, mage! Remember who you're talking to. Our mortal friend has arrived! Be quiet now, Shally! Adults talking! Ah, good! You and I can have reasonable conversations. Shepador is just too old and crotchety for me. You know, funny thing about deals. They're really the sorts of things you should get in writing. I said if you completed the trials, you could find the island. The portals to deepest oblivion scattered here and there. A sort of... bonus. If you want to see it that way, sure. It's another trial. I'm sure you and Velast... Oh, hello, dearie. 
I'm sure you'll have no problems closing the portals. Honestly, I'm surprised the mistress of Incunabula didn't see this coming. No reason at all. What are you implying? That my choice to curse the books was a calculated move? That crazy old Shea Gorath knew there were only a handful of people in the guild that could do the work she did? Oh. Madness. Oh, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You outwitted daffy old Shea Gorath, right? Anyway. Pull the crystals to close the portals. Have fun. See you soon. <laughs> Did you see the butterflies? They all flew away. Damn it. What was I thinking? Attacking the Prince of Madness. Wait, Adept. You're not making sense. What do you mean? Sheogorath put that curse on those books to slow us down. Make the task more time-consuming. Then, the curse was meant to put the books in front of the lost. She was meant to read them. Adept, this is very worrying. But we need to deal with this after the island is safe. She'll be with you. She'll be fine for the moment. The Lost, go with our friend here to close the portals. The Adept will keep you safe. Sheogorath left a powerful ward on this building. I'll need a few moments to crack it open. Go! I should be done here by the time you return. Go! Close the portals! I will see this done! the chance to study one of those up close.
good about these things? Any light or hope? My books are my friends, did you know that?
Thanks to you, the island is ours. Now you'll just need to claim the hall and kick Sheo Gorath back to the Shivering Isles. I've put a crack in his ward, but no more. The Mad God's power is formidable, even here. You and Velast may enter. I may not. Just make sure to watch after her. I can see the state she's in. I feared the Mad God may have gotten the better of us. But perhaps something can be done. Go inside. Deal with Shea Gorath. We've come too far to be put off by his tricks now. You can do this, Adept. You've proven yourself that you're up to this. Good luck. I can hear him. I'm coming, Uncle Shale. How did the butterflies get inside my head? They're swirling around my words and drinking my mind, honey. Ah, my favorite mortal! Shalidor finally figured out how to let you in. You're here to kick me out, I know. But you know, fighting isn't really my thing. Ask you. Very good, sir. <clears throat> Have at you, Adept. We will now face each other in honorable combat. On your guard. God, stay back! The lost isn't yours to take! Isn't she, though? I can see it on her face! I can smell it in the air! She's crazy! Mad! A lunatic! <laughs> All that time with Uncle Shield's stories, and she's got the urge to visit the Isles! My shivering Isles! <laughs> I do! I want to go with Uncle Shao. He's got the butterflies. I love butterflies. Hmm. This is a conundrum. A riddle. A choice. I tell you what, mortal. Why don't we let you decide? Should Velas stay? Or come with me to the dear old Isles? In fact, let's sweeten the deal. You decide she stays, I'll cure her. That's right. Uncle Sheo will make her sane again. Boring old Velast, whose only friends are books. Oh, dear. And if the adept decides she goes with you? Well, as it happens, I have one more book here. I give it to you in exchange for Velast. It's called The Folium Discognitum. Sheo Gorath, you bastard! You throw the folium back in my face after all these years! Sporting myself, it's a delightful little artifact. It imbues the reader with the knowledge of madmen. <laughs> it's very powerful. Worth, oh, four or five of those sky shard things you adventurers are always looking for. So, the last stays, and I cure her. Or, she goes with me, and you, my little martyr, become much more powerful. 
your choice. Uncle Shea wants to take me to the Shivering Isles. So wonderful. The butterflies, they'll be everywhere. And he has so many books. But Uncle Shao, he will keep me warm and he will keep me safe and I'll have so many friends to play with. Books are my friends, did you know? Adept, if I stay, if I stay, I don't know if... But perhaps with him, I'll be happy. Happy like the butterflies. They flap, flap, flap their wings. Adept, you cannot listen to this offer. This is the exact same offer Sheogoreth made me when I first lost Ivea. Life for an archmage is measured in decades, not years. The rituals I performed extended my life, allowed me to continue my work. But eventually even I began to slow down. I began work on a powerful artifact. A key to the inner workings of life itself. Glamoril. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, I reached a critical juncture where even my knowledge and power failed me. I needed more. Yes. I'd read all of the Accords of Madness. I knew the lessons of King Lyrandir, Leopold Arseno, Darius Shano, and still I failed. Don't make the mistakes we did, Adept. Reject this madman's offer! Oh. Admit it! You're surprised, aren't you? Ah, the look on your face was precious! Of course, of course! What can I tell you? Just so you know, as you talk, I'm going to imagine there's a little person inside you, moving your mouth like a puppet. It helps keep me interested. <laughs> You've got it. No strings, no lingering magical afflictions, no nightmare beasties haunting her in her dreams. Ooh, that's always fun. But no, 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 no. I'll undo what my books did to her. Fair and square, if you deny the folium. Oh, I'll be honest, mortal. I haven't had this much fun in years. <laughs> Your struggle to collect the books, getting to poke Shaladar with a stick. Oh, 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 oh. Do you remember the time I had you close all those portals on Ivea? <laughs> ah, good times. Well, see, if you sit a madman down and listen to him ramble, he'll sometimes spout the most brilliant insights. I don't know if you know this, but I spend a lot of time around madmen. Aye, and there's some right insightful insights there. You read through my folium and, oh, like I said, worth the power and zip of half a dozen sky shards. Easy. No catch, mortal. Not this time. Look, no matter what choice you make, Shalador's always going to know I got inside his head. Again. That's what I'm trading you the island for. This? This is just something between the two of us. Right! A mortal making a decision! Free will and agency! Now then, does the last stay? Become sane again and live her life out here? Or does she go with me and you receive the power of the folium discognitum? <laughs> Which will it be?
Remember what I said, Adept. Don't make the same mistake I did. A woman's life isn't worth personal power. I want to go with Uncle Sheo. I want to go with Uncle Sheo. Wait a minute. You're surprised, aren't you? Ah, the look on your face was precious. Right! A mortal making a decision! Free will and agency! Now then, does the last stay? Become sane again and live her life out here? Or does she go with me and you receive the power of the folium discognitum? <laughs> Which will it be? I knew you wouldn't take the book! Could see it in your eyes. Oh well, can't blame Uncle Sheo for wanting to give his favorite niece a good home now! <laughs> As you wish, Martha, I'll undo what's been done to her. The mortals decided to let the last stay. So, this is where I say my goodbyes. Mortal? Nice working with you. Shalidor? Never change. The last? Sorry, dear. Say goodbye to the little dreamling. The Prince of Madness doesn't stay where he's not wanted. <laughs> Except when he does. But in this case, he doesn't. Until next time, Mageling! It's like... It's like a fog has lifted from inside my mind. Adept, I don't know what to say. You've saved me from a fate worse than death. The Lost, are you? Yes, I'm all right, Shalador. I'm myself again. Don't worry, Adept. I'll be fine soon enough. Now that you've restored my mind, I just need some rest. You've passed the challenges of the Mad God, restored me to sanity, and reclaimed this sanctuary for the Mage's Guild. Somehow my thanks seem small in comparison, but you have them. Thank you, Adept, for all you've done. I can't stay in here, Adept. Let us speak some more outside. something for you. Adept, you've done so much for the guild. I couldn't let you leave without a final gift. This old archmage has a spell he's been saving just for you. During my time on Tamriel, I developed a very useful spell. A memory charm of sorts. Rather than wasting my time puttering around in libraries trying to find a book, the spell allows me to recall it instantly. If you'll allow me. Just need a moment to prepare. This spell has proven very handy. Once saved my life and I came up against a rhyming spirit. She demanded every answer to her questions be answered with a couplet. There we go. I'm ready. Call it Shalador's Library of the Mine. <laughs> Shores, bones, I can't thank you enough. In time, the body you and Velast have formed for me will fade. But with this charm, you'll never forget our trials together. I take comfort in that. Are you ready? Then accept the gift of eidetic memory. Remember now every tome, every book, every scrap of paper you have ever read. And remember too, the tale of Iveus' return to Tamriel, and the story of the adept who made it happen. Don't be 
a stranger adept. Ivea is another home for you now, as it is for every mage in Tamriel. Don't worry, adept. I'll be fine soon enough. Now that you've restored my mind, I just need some rest. Good luck, my friend. Wherever your travels take you next, know that you have all of the guild at your back. Stars above, Ivea is a high elven dream. We gain all the benefits of collaboration with the other races without having to, you know, actually leave the Somerset Isles. Ideal! Look around you, Adept. My people live in paradise. Would you leave the soft petals, the southern breezes, the beaches of the archipelago? Ivea is ideally placed. A remote but accessible location for the elite to congregate well away from the chaos of mainland Tamriel. If you ask me, this is a long overdue asset for the guild. Fivefold venerations adept. All of our people feel great pride in Valast for the role she played in your adventure. In her name, high elves across Tamriel plan to donate tomes to Ivea's library. Colleagues think this place is far too good to be true. I'm hopeful. I choose to let the river take us where it wants. This experiment is doomed to failure, mark my words. You've seen the Dark Elves here, right? All mages are equals. There's a bitter root in my mouth. Black Marsh has been raided and burned by every type of pointy-eared elf. By Imperials, by Bretons, even the Catmen. No, I don't believe this dream of equality for a second. At least I can get soul gems at a discount. A secluded island, just for mages, where we can all do our work in peace. Free from the outside world's politics and horrors. Really, no one else sees this gilded tree for its rotten roots. You know, if the guild plays its cards right, just think of all the coin we could make in trade. We could find ourselves in a very good position. If the Cyrodiil situation ever stabilizes, of course. High King Emmerich knows well how to play the diplomat. 
Well, officially, he's been neutral on the topic of Ivea. He's privately been highly supportive. He knows Guildmaster Vanus values his friendship. Ha! <laughs> Old Vanus has been around so long, he knows pretty well everyone. Iren, Emric, even crusty old Yorin owe him favors. I guess that's what comes from living the better part of 600 years. A centralized, readily accessible, and above all, neutral port for every nation in Tamriel. Research aside, the trading opportunities here are amazing. My good adept, can I do for you today? Mm. Sorry, sorry. Much to catalog, less time to talk. What do you need? I have a delicate spell matrix in progress here, so please speak quickly. I do not want to lose all this work. After living deep in the Valian world all my life, it's such a difference to be here on Arvea. I can see the sky, smell the sea air. I didn't expect allergies, though. Something about these mush... mushrooms. <laughs> I love this place. I can actually get into real, lively debates about arcano magical phenomena. Nothing defers to my wisdom or tries to change the subject. And Nord even hit me! Amazing! Being here is quite invigorating, Adept. 
I've been a green speaker for so long, I've forgotten you could cast spells to harness fire or change the weather, or even summon an angry Daedra. Amazing! A green speaker is a mage who has dedicated her life to working in and alongside the green itself. We use our spells to guide and enhance the growth of trees and plants. We create furniture, weapons, even housing for our people. The centuries of hatred between my people and most of Tamriel seem somehow petty in a place like this. There's just so much to be gained through collaboration. Perhaps one day, Dark Elves will walk proudly in the lands outside Morrowind. I know it, Adept. Mages are respected and, yes, feared in the Ashlands. Our time here will bring us closer to the other races, and we'll bring that back home to our sometimes more closed-minded brothers. The Tribunal takes a longer view on the conflicts in Cyrodiil. The three approve of our presence on Ivea. Sothaseel himself hopes for a chance to visit Ihear. I would have thought Ivea's return would call out more of our brethren from House Telvani. But no. Perhaps someday this neutral ground will help draw them back into the fold. is blessed with greater than normal amounts of Daedric energy. The possibilities of this island, of Ivea, are staggering. The discoveries I'll make here will rewrite the laws of magic. You look dry, my friend. Fancy a drink? greater than normal amounts of Daedric energy. Do not be fooled by my Egg Brother's words. My goods are just as moist as his. 
My egg sister's mind is dry with madness. Do not buy from her. Purchase what you need from me. This one is so happy to be here. Such an excellent idea. And such delightful fragrances. Sharp claws and bright moons to you, adept who has made this happen. This one is so happy to be here. Such an excellent idea. And such delightful fragrances. Sharp claws and bright moons to you, adept who has made this happen. Aivea was a myth told to tiny mage cubs. Now you have reached into the past and legend and pulled it into the real world. More nonsense like this sounds like an excellent idea. This one hears others worry about how long Ivea will last. What does it matter? Gain everything you can now, and worry about whether it will last later. Spend time worrying, and you waste the time you have. This one is impressed. The island is fragrant. The other mages have proven themselves friendly, more or less. And there is much learning we can do in this place. This one hopes Ivea survives and endures. I will explore the summoning arts like no one has in the history of Tamriel. I've got all manner of guild goods here readily available, especially to one such as you. Bit of a forward question, isn't that? Yes, yes, I'm a spirit pulled from my body after an altercation with a Khajiiti moon priest. Don't worry, it's only temporary. I'm sure we'll figure out a way to get me back home very soon. of inter-evocative hermetic harmonic resonance we still use today was first developed during the construction of the Crystal Tower.
Adams. Give Shalador my best next time you see him. Stars above, Adept. Your work with Velast is the talk of the guild. 